Transitioning to a new job can be stressful for anyone, especially if you're an incoming member of Congress. You've got to hire staff. You've got to find real estate on where you're going to set up your district offices. You have to buy computers, you have to buy computer software. You have to make all the personnel decisions on how you're going to run these small businesses called congressional offices. Fitch is part of a foundation that helps freshman members get started. He says it's like running a business with constituents as the customers and the boss. And new members can often feel overwhelmed during the first months of the congressional session. Many work an average of 70 hours a week with little sleep while trying to adjust to the demands of their job. In our handbook on running a congressional office, it's called Setting Course. Um, some of the things we ask members to do is first think strategically. Don't think tactically, think long term. Ask yourselves when that last editorial is written about you in the major paper in the state, when you retire, hopefully years from now, what are they going to write about? On top of that, there's the personal cost of maintaining at least two households, one in Washington and the other in the place they represent. And shrinking or eliminated resources over the last several years also made the transition a bit trickier for new members. They don't have the same level of infrastructure in the policy advisors that they have. The Congressional Research Service has uh, been shrunk. There used to be an Office of Technology Assistance, OTA, and there's quite a few calls for that to be restored because members of Congress have to make difficult decisions on the internet and cybersecurity and things that are very complicated and very technical. With the new Congress starting, Fitch anticipates there will be an extra bright spotlight on the incoming members, which is the most diverse class in history. But what do you make of this new incoming class? Well, every freshman class has a little bit of its own character, and this one definitely has a little bit more personality than, than most because it's such an exciting group of people. I think that's also what's interesting about the diversity of this class is their uh, professional experience is, is different. You know, we've got former CIA agents. We've got two football players, two NFL players coming in. Um, it's, it's been a fascinating learning experience for us at the Congressional Management Foundation to, to read their bios. I was just reading one uh, new freshman congresswoman from Connecticut, um, Representative-elect Hayes, who was a National Teacher of the Year. You know, that's a little unusual, so I think it is exciting. We enjoy getting to know them on a personal level and helping them out because uh, they don't get a lot of assistance in this area. They're often very surprised.